Hello, I'm Gav. I'm Dan. We're the Slow Mo Guys. I've always been interested in how fire spreads against a sort of solid horizontal surface. Yeah. And like, you know, if you like throw a bucket of petrol at a wall or something. Yeah. I always thought it'd be cool to look at fire from the other side of that. Well, like, so as if it was like see-through? Yeah. Like, like glass? Something like glass, yeah. Like this glass? Yeah. Not the first time we've done that joke, is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> so if you throw a bucket of petrol, on fire, sort of right here, hopefully in lovely glorious 4K slow-mo, we'll see the fire spread all throughout and you'll be able to see it against like a flat, perfectly in focused surface. Oh yeah, that's a good point. It's gonna be perfectly in focus because it's a level plane. It's gonna be like a cross, fire, uh, cross section of fire, isn't it? Yeah, it should be lovely and incredibly dangerous. Please don't do this at home. As you can see, we're not anyone's home, we're in a quarry. Yeah, we've done this in someone else's quarry. Yeah. <laughs> okay, dangerous uh, experiment, so Precautionary measures are in order. Getting the danger suit on. So it's like a flame retardant overalls, flame retardant balaclava, goggles, flame retardant gloves, all for just a little bit of petrol. Is it enjoyable wearing this on a 37 degree day in Texas? Hell no. <laughs> Eyes here. Uh, I'm gonna be positioned there with the, the camera, zoomed in enough to, to fill the frame. That's about as far away as I can be because it's only a 90 mil. And then uh, we've got, we've both got fire extinguishers. You're gonna use yours on the window. I'm gonna use mine on the window, uh, well, not necessarily the window, but all of the other stuff. In yeah, case like the flammable cardboard. <laughs> pretty much, in case we need to do another shot. So I'm gonna get straight in there with the fire extinguisher and put it right out to stop any sort of flames. And my fire extinguisher is gonna be for you. I'm gonna drag that right close to the camera and I'll run in and put you out just in case it all goes wrong. If I haven't put myself out already. Yeah. We yeah. need to, I need to pee as well, so we've, we've also got that. So, order of runnings, you're going to light it, you're going to throw it. I'm going to bag the camera, yep. then you extinguish the cardboard, and if you're on fire, I run in and extinguish you. Before anything else. I was oh, going well, to have lunch first. You ready? Ready! Just going to dunk my hands in this water. Okay. Okay. I'm ready. Okay. I'm going to go ahead. Right. Here we go. You good, B? Yeah, we're good. Get the camera. Good? Go for it. Bottom of the glass. Nice. Excellent. There was no splashback on me. That's good. But uh, I would have liked to have thrown it a bit higher on the glass, really, because it dropped faster than I was expecting. Well, at least fire goes up. It's true. It's not like it fell on the floor, is it? Like, the main part of it, I think the meat of it was in the middle. Careful, this might be on fire and we might not be able to see it. I, I put it out, I think. Okay. It's like the beginning of the Watchmen or something. I look very menacing. It looks like I'm throwing the fire at you. That's the idea, really, isn't it? Oh, yeah, oh. look at that. Look at that fluid. Then, bosh, when does it hit the glass? I wonder if you can tell. Oh, that, I like those twisty vortexes. Yeah, they're cool. Oh, there Whoa. it is. Whoa, Whoa. <laughs> that looks sick. Because wow. that's all against the fire. That's all one plane of focus right there. Yeah. Like it's not actually coming towards you anymore at all. Wow, that's actually really cool. Isn't that? I'm happy with that. That's really nice, and obviously a complete guess on the exposure. You and nailed it, it. It looked like it, it all held. Yeah, you nailed it's it. It's very yellow in the middle, but I uh, think... There's some bright moments there. Yeah, what is that? So that's a thousand frames a second, 180 degree shutter. Oh, what is it? And an F8, so that was just a bit of a guess there. Well, I think the brightest part is also, you see where the petrol was still um, liquid. Yeah. It was like reflecting the sunlight, and that was really bright. Yeah. Look at all this petrol suds just on fire now. <laughs> <laughs> There's like suds of petrol. It's like the worst window cleaner ever. <laughs> okay, cheeky bonus shot. We've just waited for the sun to go down. So it's... <laughs> Sorry. So it's much, much darker. Uh, it may not look darker to this camera, but to the Phantom, it's almost completely pitch black against that glass. So this will be a fire only version. Bloody hell. 
It looks a lot more when it's night time, doesn't it? <laughs> Well, I don't think I've ever. S this won't do, will it? I mean, I suppose the joke about the wind it doesn't really work when. But when you can't see through. You can't it? actually see through it. Yeah, I'll give it that. Oh yeah. Oh, it's Love actually it. not really worked that well. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Well, I don't think I've ever seen fire from that angle. Just to see the liquid splashing and flowing onto the glass with fire through it, sort of fire behind it. Yeah, it's weird how uh, <laughs> it really goes to show how petrol isn't actually on fire as such when it's the liquid. It's the vapors that are really on fire. Yeah, but with you know, temperatures like this and with it expanding and bit getting spread through the air, it gives off those vapors like crazy. It really does. Like, it's it? just impossible for it not to all be on fire at once. Should we just lob a brick through this? lovely stuff hopefully you enjoyed that video make sure you subscribe to the slow-mo guys we also have a second channel we've just put up a video featuring linus tech tips where we added 130 terabytes to the channel's total storage so hop over there and bung that a watch if you'd like we'll see you next time <laughs>